Welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to create an interactive hamburger menu and animate it in Adobe XD. A practice project file with all the assets is available. Download it from the link in the description and follow with me in this tutorial. Open Adobe XD. With the artboard tool selected, create a new artboard with iPhone 10 dimensions and name it, Main. Select the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle of 75 pixel height. Remove the border and apply the fill color from the Assets panel. Now duplicate it by clicking and dragging on it while holding ALT key on the keyboard. Set the bottom right radius to 20. Add a shadow with values of 2 for Y and 10 for Blur. Now duplicate that shape and decrease its width by 37 pixels. This can be done by entering a minus symbol followed by the number 37 just after the number at the width text field. Put the shape layer below the above shape. Repeat the same for the rest of the shapes. We need a total of 6 rectangles for this menu. Now apply colors to the shapes from the Assets panel. Select the last 5 shapes and move them to the bottom of the artboard. Now resize the top shape to fill the gap. This will be our first expanded menu. Select the artboard and turn on the grid. Select the text tool and enter the title in the header. Apply the character style from the Assets panel. Insert the cogwheel icon and align it on the right side of the header. Add the calendar icon followed by text in the second shape. Continue adding icons and respective text on each menu element and arrange them as shown in the video. Now select all the elements in each shape and group and rename them respectively and arrange them in the Layers panel. You can also use the shortcut Ctrl plus close square bracket to bring layers to the front. Select all the elements and group them, rename it to Menu. Move the group aside from the artboard. Apply the dark gradient to the artboard from the Assets panel and turn on the grid. Now let's make the floating action button to trigger the menu. Draw a circle using the ellipse tool of 60 pixel width. Remove the border and select a bright fill color. Apply a shadow with 30% opacity at a distance of 10 pixels and a 20 pixel blur. Now draw three rounded rectangles of 30 widths and four height, four pixels apart. This will be our hamburger menu. Group them and rename it to Fab. Turn off the grid. Double click on the header and drag it onto the top center of the artboard. I have pre-made some elements in the home screen for the sake of this tutorial. 
drag and drop them from the assets panel into the artboard and align it. Move the rest of the groups inside the menu group and position it outside, away from each by clicking and dragging the groups. This is done to achieve an interesting animation while calling the menu. Duplicate the artboard by clicking and dragging it while holding the Alt key on the keyboard and rename it to Today. Move all the groups inside the menu group inside the artboard. Double click on the Today group to open it and from the Assets panel, add the required text. Make sure that the text is inside the Today group. Make a rectangle and fill it with black. Apply background blur from the Properties Inspector panel and place the rectangle shape behind the menu and fab groups. Now transform the hamburger menu into a close symbol. Rotate the shapes and make them into an X shape. Duplicate the artboard and name it Activity. Move the text in the Today group outside of the artboard and resize the shape to 75 height. Expand the Activity group and add the text inside that group. Duplicate the artboard and name it Profile. Resize the activity shape and expand the Profile menu and add text. This completes the design. Head on to the Prototype section and wire the hamburger menu to the second artboard. Set the trigger to tap, action to auto animate, easing to ease and out, and the duration to 0.6 seconds. Connect the close buttons in all the artboards back to the menu artboard. Now connect the triggers in the artboard to their respective artboard to make the buttons work. Select the exact group as the trigger by double-clicking in the required group. A blue overlay will indicate the active trigger area. Here we have prepared only three active sections in the menu, so connect them with each other for the prototype to work. Now we have completed the prototype. Click on the Desktop Preview button and test the prototype. The animations are smooth and beautiful. You can change the easing and speed and get varying results. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial and want to see more videos, like and subscribe to my channel.